Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we finally got Leon, the sexy man here with his outfit. Like, he looks incredibly cool with his outfit. Like, he is really good. It's really good. I do like it a lot. And uh, his six-star outfit, like the color scheme, looks really, really nice too. But, as a sync pair entirely, they are really cool and they're really good and they're really fun to use. Especially with the new mechanic, um, the Dynamax, uh, or the Max moves. Like, they're really, really good. So... For the showcase, we are going to be using this team right here in uh, Champion Stadium. It's not going to be Massimo because like we're trying to show off uh, what he can do with his max potential, and I and I'm not really the best at master mode, so we're going to do uh, regular Champion Stadium, and then we're going to go to co-op and see how he is when it comes to being self-sufficient. Um, but uh, for his kit, if you don't know, on his passive one, he has Lucky Seven Four. And he has a 50% chance of lowering all the stats when he attacks the target, which is good. So he can lower attack, defense, special attack, special defense, uh, speed, uh, accuracy, and evasiveness by one stat rank when the move is successful. So it's not bad. Uh, a great chance. Like 50% chance, it's a 50-50. So um, you either get the stat reductions or you don't. But uh, overall, like when the battle does last a long time, um, you will be getting stronger because... Uh, he gets stronger when the enemy uh, has their uh, speed getting lowered as well But obviously because we have Serena on the field or on our team with cotton sport We are we are easily gonna be able to lower the enemy's speed For sure like it's gonna be very easy to do that um, And then for his passive two, he has max damage guard so applies the damage guard next effect to the user after using its max move. If hit, if hit by an attacking move while the effect is applied, the attack will inflict no damage on the user. While the damage of the same attack such as sync moves will be halved, the effects will be removed after it is activated. Um, so, like when you do get hit with a sync move, like I said in uh, my uh, video talking about him before his uh, release. If you get hit by a 4,000 or a sync move that would have been 4,000 damage, with this max guard active, you're going to be taking 2,000 damage instead of 4,000. So it is very, very helpful and it will allow you to last in battle a lot longer too. So you can definitely uh, strategize on how you want to use your uh, max move. So if you're low on move gauge, obviously you could use your Eterna Beam and uh, refill your... Um, uh, your move gauge because uh, you do refill um, three move gauge uh, per sync pair on the field. So obviously if you have a full team on your side, your move gauge will be full after you use your, uh, your Eterna Beam. But if you want to use uh, if you want to use it defensively, then you can activate the max guard before they sick move, and then you can survive a lot longer too. So there's different ways that you can go about using Leon, and I really do like that because it makes it a lot more fun. And then for his passive three, he has ramming speed, but this ramming speed does not add into his uh, max move. So you got to take that into consideration. But even without the multipliers that he gets, um, ram um. The max move does hit really hard as well, so it, yeah, you'll, you'll see in battle. So, this is actually going to be my first time seeing how Le Leon can actually hit, like how hard he can hit when the speed is completely lowered. Now, again, he can lower the speed on his own because of Lucky 7-4, but it's a 50% chance and you do need to attack quite a bit in order to get them to their max speed reduction in order for him to get his max potential. But, on his grid, this is also what I have built for him. And I do have him at 2 out of 5, so I do have a lot of Dynamax Cannon power-ups along with Hunter's Instinct. And that's where you're really going to get a lot of the uh, um, multipliers as well with Hunter's Instinct and Ramming Speed. He's self-sufficient with uh, the increasing the speed and lowering the enemy's speed. But we're bringing Serena again just so we can get to uh, minus 6 speed on the enemies a lot faster. And then we have Unflappable just so we don't get flinched because it's annoying getting flinched. So why not just put that on there? And then we have um, Dynamax Cannon Move Gauge Refresh 4 along with Eternal Power Move Gauge Refresh 4. And then we also have Dire Hit Plus Move Gauge Refresh 4. And then we have Eternal Power MP Refresh. So that's what I have on his grid. And I have uh, Critical Strike 1 on him just because I got unlucky and didn't get Critical Strike 2. So it is what it is. What can you do? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, let's go into the battle and see how Leon can perform. Um, we're gonna do the battle 
without Serena lowering the speed first and then we'll go back into the battle and uh, have their speed completely lowered. So let's increase all of our offense first and then we will start attacking. Now I'm using Samurai here to increase our critical hit as fast as possible and uh, he also does give us speed up as well so we will be able to get a nice little multiplier there from uh, Samurott, um, even though Leon does increase his own speed, but it's only gonna be plus four. So having Samurott here to get us to plus six a lot easier is gonna be much better so that we can sort of reach our semi-max potential damage that we can do with Leon. So here we go, let's go with Dynamax Cannon right now. We will use um, the Dynamax move um, after we sync move, because why not? Now, the cannon, like, it does look really nice. <laughs> the animation looks really cool. Um, and I'm really happy with that. Like, it does look really nice. Um, I, th I was kind of worried that it was going to be um, a simple, like, dragon beam. Um, like, his sync move is a simple dragon beam. But, uh, like, as you can see here, it's pretty basic. It just looks like a dragon pulse. So, it, it, that's, that kind of sucks there, but whatever. Uh, but his actual Dynamax cannon looks really nice. So... Now let's actually go for the Eterna Beam, and after we activate our Dynamax move, um, we will get the Dynamax uh, Guard, um, or the Max Guard, and uh, that will allow us to take no damage whenever we get hit again, or if it's a Sync Loop, it will reduce the damage that we receive. And the animation does look really nice, and uh, like it's straight from the Sword and Shield games. Um, if you play that, then you'd know, and this look would, and this would look familiar to you. So now that we activated or used our max move, our move gauge filled up, even though our move gauge was pretty full as what as it was already. Um, but now we also have the max guard active. So whenever we do uh, take damage um, or they ever uh, target Eternatus, we will be taking no damage. But again, if it is a sync move, we will be reducing the damage that we receive. Um, but yeah, like as you can see there, we took no damage. It's basically the same thing as Archeox and uh, um, an Emmet uh, with their uh, trading move, uh, but instead this time it's with uh, the Dynamax move with the Eternatus. So the damage that he's doing is not bad. Um, he will get stronger as the battle goes on, or if you have someone on the team like Serena that can lower their speed to the max because he does have Hunter's Instinct. So the, lo the lower um, or the more you lower the enemy speed, the more damage you do because it's a multiplier. So let's just reset this again and uh, see what he can do damage wise when we do have their uh, speed lowered to the max with uh, with Serena. So that's what we're going to do this time. Uh, so he was hitting really good, um, like his damage is good, uh, but now activating everything like having hit uh, the enemy speed lowered to the max and then uh, having our speed completely maxed out and everything like he will be hitting a lot better. And uh, I do not have him at uh, 20 out of 20 either right now. I do have him at like 16 out of 20. So you got to take that into consideration too. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like overall, Eternatus and Leon, <laughs> they're really fun. They're really fun to use and uh, I'm happy with them. Um, again though, if you are free to play, I would recommend to hold off on summoning for them until we get more information on the anniversary that is going to be coming on the 29th of August. So just wait patiently if you're free to play um, because for all we know uh, the new sync pair could be Red and, uh, and Pikachu or Red and Snorlax. Um, but you don't have to worry about the next uh, sync pair having um, the max move because they did say that Leon will be the only sync pair to have the um, uh, the uh, the max move mechanic on him. So if you're just looking for the new mechanic, then yeah, summon for Leon if you want to, uh, because then you know that uh, the anniversary sync pair is not gonna have the max move too. So here we go. Um, they do have their speed lower to the max, which is nice. So now he's gonna be doing a lot more damage, hopefully. <laughs> so 5,000 damage there, and then now let's go for our uh, max move and see how much damage this is gonna do. But the multipliers that he does get for his regular moves and sync move, they are not going to apply to his max move. But it's always nice to just get the max move in and do like free damage because that's basically what the max move is. It's free damage. Like you could use it right at the beginning of the battle too if you really want to. So that's really nice. And like again, you can have this 
set to whichever way you want. Like if you want to use it defensively to reduce damage, you can do that. But if you want to use it offensively, you can do that as well because then it refills your move gauge and uh, you can continuously attack after that because of the move gauge refresh, which is nice. So yeah, there we go. Like he is really good. Obviously paired up with someone that can lower speed to the max is going to be nice like Serena because she does have the AOE speed lowering, which is very good. So 6,000 damage compared to like 4,000, like it's a nice increase um, considering how much he can actually hit uh, a turn. Like he can hit quite frequently because when you get the move gauge refreshes and then you have max move taken into effect as well. And then you do have move gauge refreshes on the training move, dire hit, and I think X speed. Actually, no, I don't think X speed does have a move gauge refresh, but... Um, dire hit does and the uh, training move does as well so whenever you do get MP refresh on any of those you can also have a chance of getting the move gauge refresh allowing you to um, get to your Dynamax cannon a lot faster so that's pretty good so that's uh, Leon in the single player aspect when it comes to being able to have full control over your team now let's move over to the co-op aspect and see how he can perform when he is just solo with no support, I guess. Just seeing how he can perform when he's doing it all on his own. All right, so now we are, we are in the EX Plaza. We're gonna be going up against Claire because she is the Dragon type and uh, she's weak to Dragon. And Leon does have uh, the Dragon type move. The only move he has is Dynamax Cannon, which is a Dragon type. So Claire is gonna be weak to uh, Leon, of course. So. Let's go into the battle and see how he could perform when he is self, because we know he's self-sufficient. So majority of the time, like when you're going into co-op, uh, Leon is going to be very good just because of how self-sufficient he is. He could increase his speed. He could increase his uh, critical to the max. He could increase his special attack to the max. And he also does have the super effective next effect as well. So if you want to use that right before he sync moves to do a little bit more damage, you can do that also. Which we are actually going to do. We're actually going to do that and see how much damage he can do. Um, when he does have the super effective next effect. Um, when uh, he does sync move. Um, like, again, he looks so cool though. Like, look at how Eternatus looks. He, I thought he would have been bigger. Like, it's just weird seeing Rotom being, like so i guess normal compared to uh eternatus like it's just weird because we know rotom being extremely small so <laughs> having eternatus next to rotom just looks kind of weird and normally like eternatus is really big so having rotom next to him you think that rotom would be extremely tiny compared to eternatus but i guess that's not really the case so after using this dynamax cannon we're gonna go for a training move have the super effective next effect and then we'll sync move, see how much damage he does. And then right after our sync move, we are going to go for our Dynamax move. Because this sync move should knock out Kingdra. Uh, just because we will be super effective or have that super effective next effect um, on the sync move. Um, so I'm curious to see how much this is going to do. Because I honestly haven't done this either. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, it just sucks how the animation for uh, the sync move is basic, but I guess we do have the max move. So 10,000 damage, not bad, not bad at all. So now let's go for a max move, and this should do like maybe 13,000 damage. He does not hit soft at all, like he's actually a pretty good hitter. And he can't hit a lot of times in a short amount of time as well, so you got to take that into consideration because he may look a little bit underwhelming in the damage department maybe to some people. But you also got to look at how many times you can actually hit in a short amount of time. And boom, there we go. 15,000 damage, really good. Move gauge refreshed. And we also got the max guard. So if they do decide to attack us with an AoE or they do target us, uh, which they are, we will take no damage. So Salamence is going to go for a rock slide, but we're going to be taking no damage at all because of the max guard, which is nice. And for a striker to have this kind of ability, like we know Archeops uh, and Emmet, they do have that kind of ability, like where they use their training move, you will take no damage uh, when you do get attacked after using the training move. Like strikers that have that ability, it makes them very, very good because it will have them out or it will allow them to last a lot longer in battle, which is great. And that's what you want for a striker. You want them to survive as long as possible in battle so that you can do as much damage as you can and win the fight. Um, 
but uh, but yeah, like overall, Leon, very good sync player. He can definitely hit hard. Um, it does suck that he has a basic sync move, but at the same time, uh, we do have the max move, and it also does suck that uh, the multipliers do not take effect with the max move. But um, in the grid, he does have the uh, power up for Eternity Beam. Uh, plus 100 base power. So in total, like you'll be at 500 minimum for the base power on Eternity Beam. Because when you do get him to five out of five, it does seem like, or every time you increase your uh, move level, like your sync move level, it will increase the uh, max move as well. Because I do have him at two out of five, um, so it increases it by 20 points. So if you get him to five out of five, then we'll be 450. But then if you pick up the uh, Eternity Beam power up in the grid, then it will be 550 in total. So the max move will hit very hard. Um, but it just still sucks that uh, the multipliers don't take effect with um, uh, the max move. So it is what it is. What can you do? Maybe in the future they'll change that. Then we can update to allow multipliers affect the max moves. But if that's the case, then these max moves are just going to be insanely busted because... <laughs> Like, you could really use them at the beginning of the battle, but if you are going to be relying on the multipliers for the max moves, then you're going to want to wait a little bit after the battle starts to take full advantage of the multipliers for the max moves. But uh, that's probably why they didn't want to have multipliers affect the max moves, because then it would just be completely broken, because you can use this whenever you want. Like, you can literally use it whenever and uh, do the damage for free. So... Yeah, that's probably why they wanted to do it for balancing purposes, but uh, nonetheless, he's still a great unit. Um, but let me know what you guys think of Leon and Eternatus. I think they're really good. Um, I'm putting them in the top five strikers in the game. Um, Groudon and Kyogre still remain to be the top uh, or the best sinkers uh, or strikers in the game, but uh, maybe that will change once the actual two-year anniversary gets revealed. Um, but... Let me know what you guys think of Eternatus and Leon. Hopefully you guys got what you were getting or going in for if you are summoning for Leon. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.